Ladies, a British model was introduced early on into schools, reinforcing the exposure to British English brought by the many missionary groups around the turn of the century. The result was a range of mother tongue English varieties which have more in common with what is heard in South Africa or Australia than in Nigeria or Ghana. 11 Southeast Asia and the South Pacific for territories in and to the west of the South Pacific display an interesting mixture of American and British English. The main American presence emerged after the Spanish-American War of 1898, from which the USA received the island of Guam 11 for the sociolinguistic situation in contemporary West and East Africa, C. Bankbos, 2000, 54. Why English? The historical context the countries of East and Southern Africa and Puerto Rico in the Caribbean, and sovereignty over the Philippines. Hawaii was annexed at that time also, after a period of increasing U.S. influence. In the 1940s, the U.S. invasion of Japanese-held Pacific Islands was followed after World War II by several areas being made the responsibility of the USA as United Nations Trust Territories. The Philippines became independent in 1946, but the influence of American English remains strong. And 55 English as a global language as this country has by far the largest population of the English-speaking states in the region, about 80 million in 2002. It makes a significant contribution to world totals. British influence began through the voyages of English sailors at the end of the 18th century, notably the journeys of Captain Cook in the 1770s. The London Missionary Society sent its workers to the islands of the South Pacific 50 years later. In Southeast Asia, the development of a British colonial empire grew from the work of Stamford Raffles an administrator in the British East India Company. Centers were established in several locations, notably Penang, 1786, Singapore, 1819, and Malacca, 1824. Within a few months, the population of Singapore had grown to over 5,000, and by the time the Federated Malay States were brought together as a crown colony, 1867, English had come to be established throughout the region as the medium of law and administration, and was being increasingly used in other contexts. A famous example is the English-language daily newspaper, The Straits Times, which began publication in 1845. English inevitably and rapidly became the language of power in the British territories of Southeast Asia. Hong Kong Island was ceded to Britain in 1842 by the Treaty of Nanking, at the end of the First Opium War, and Kowloon was added to it in 1860. The new territories, which formed the largest part of the colony, were leased from China in 1898 for 99 years. Towards the end of the 19th century, several territories in the region became British protectorates, the administration of some being later taken over by Australia and New Zealand. Territories with English as part of their heritage, which have become independent in recent decades, include American Samoa, Palau, Palau, Fiji, Kiribati Marshall Islands, Federated States of Micronesia, North Mariana Islands, Samoa, Tonga, Tuvalu, and Vanuatu. The introduction of a British educational system exposed learners to a standard British English model very early on. English medium schools began in Penang, now Malaysia's leading port, in 1816, with senior teaching staff routinely brought in from Britain. Although at the outset these schools were attended by only a tiny percentage of the population, 
numbers increased during the 56Y English, the historical context 19th century as waves of Chinese and Indian immigrants entered the area. English rapidly became the language of professional advancement and the chief literary language. Soon after the turn of the century, higher education through the medium of English was also introduced. The language thus became a prestige lingua franca among those who had received an English education and who had thereby entered professional society. The Common Colonial History of the Region a single variety of Southeast Asian English has not emerged. The political histories of Singapore and Malaysia, especially since independence, have been too divergent for to happen, and the sociolinguistic situations in Hong Kong and Papua New Guinea are unique. 12 R. Singapore in the 1950s, a bilingual educational system was introduced in Singapore with English used as a medium alongside Chinese, Malay, and Tamil. However, English remained the language of government and the legal system, and retained its importance in education and the media. Its use has also been steadily increasing among the general population. In a 1975 survey, 27% of people over age 40 claim to understand English, whereas among 15 to 20 year olds, the proportion was over 87%. There is also evidence of quite widespread use in family settings, and a new local variety, known as Singlish, has evolved. P. 174. The country had a population of around 4.3 million in 2002. Our Malaysia the situation is very different in Malaysia, where, following independence, 1957, Bahasa Malaysia was adopted as the national language, and the role of English accordingly became more restricted. Malay medium education was introduced, with English an obligatory subject but Singly being seen as of value for international rather than international purposes, more a foreign language than a second language. 12. For the sociolinguistic situation in Southeast Asia, c. For Hong Lee, 1999, Evans and Green, 2001, for Malaysia, said and Sue, 2000, for the Philippines, Bautista. 1997, for Singapore, Go Benathan, Pakir, Cam and Sarah